guys, I'm Laura Vitale. Today I want to share with you how to make a really easy and simple corned beef hash that you can make using your leftover corned beef from your corned beef and cabbage. Um, I want to share it with you because it really is super easy, super simple. You most likely have everything on hand already, so we might as well just go for it, right? Um, so let me run you through what you'll need. At least what I need to make it. <laughs> I've got some leftover corned beef here that I have just diced. I've got a little bit of bell pepper and I've got a little bit of red onion. You could use white onion, you could use yellow onion, you could use green bell pepper. I like a little pepper, not a lot. Um, and I love this uh, combination. This is some of the leftover potatoes that I had when I made the corned beef and cabbage and I just took them and just cut them in quarters because they were already pretty small and these are already cooked so keep that in mind. Lots of garlic, lots of parsley, fresh thyme, a little bit of light olive oil, you could use butter, you could use avocado oil, you could use whatever your heart desires. And then in here I've got my magical mixture of spices here. I've got some granulated garlic, onion, some paprika, a little, a little bit of dried parsley, and then I just have a teeny tiny bit of like an all-purpose salt-free seasoning. Mrs. Dash makes a really good one. Costco makes a really good one. I just like to add a little bit of that in there, and all of them combined makes for a delicious seasoning. Now, I am not going to be adding a whole lot of salt here. In fact, I'm only going to be salting the peppers and onions when I cook down because remember, when we made the corned beef and cabbage, the corned beef is cured, so it's really salty. It was in that, you know, it was pre-cured and brined beforehand so it's really salty and all of that saltiness and flavor kind of like went into the potatoes when we cooked the potatoes in the same broth but if you feel like you need more salt then add more salt so <laughs> the choice is yours so let's get started I've got a nice skillet here with a little bit of light olive oil and um, I'm using a nonstick skillet but you can use any skillet that your heart desires I'm going to add the peppers and the onion. You don't have to add bell pepper. Bell pepper can be very overpowering. I like a little bit here because I think the contrast between the sweet bell pepper and the salty brainy um, corn, corn beef is really delicious. But if you don't like to add it, then you don't have to. I'm just going to find my salt, which I live here, but it is not here. So I'm going to go find my salt <laughs> and I'm just going to give this a season and let these saute for a few minutes. This looks good. Oh, you can see the onions and the peppers are developing some color. I did season it with a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add the corned beef and the potatoes. You can use um, a cast iron if you want to, but I'm just going to use this. Give that a really good stir along with your thyme. Beautiful. And it already smells so good. And your spice mixture. Add that all in. I'm going to give this a nice stir and I'm going to basically saute everything and kind of push everything down in a, in like a, a single layer like this. I'll just keep doing this so that it can just develop some nice little crispy bits around the edges and be really phenomenal. Beautiful things are happening. That crackle and pop is so crucial to a delicious hash. You have no idea. Uh, you want to cook this on medium, right between medium and medium high. Resist the urge to crank this up high, as high as it goes, just to develop color, because what you'll do is you'll just burn the outside of it, but you won't really caramelize edges, you won't really develop that good flavor, and you won't get that sizzling pop that you want. So, you can do a few things. Life is full of options, my friends. At this point, you can take a potato masher, and you can mash this up so that the potatoes really mash into the corned beef and you get almost like a hash brown situation where it's super crispy um, and it's great, right? I don't like it that way. It's just not my favorite, right? I'm also adding the garlic at this point because I didn't want to add it earlier so that it would burn. I like to keep it just like this, right? Look at this gorgeous stuff happening right here. You see that? I don't want to lose any of that. I don't want to lose these beautiful potatoes, right? So all I'm going to do now is I added the garlic. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. And if you could just smell it in here, it's pretty phenomenal. I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to cook this for one or two more minutes. I want that raw garlic flavor to cook out. Then what I'll do is I'll fry up a couple of eggs. Another option you've got, I love to give you options. You can cook the eggs 
like shakshuka style where you can cook them right in the hash. Um, you don't get crispy edges that way and I like crispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hash, fry up a couple of eggs, then we serve because I'm so excited. <laughs> I think corned beef leftovers are better than like the actual main meal but it could just be me. So I'm going to get this out of here, fry up my eggs and then we taste test. This is why I cook my eggs separately. A very gorgeous lacy eggs. Very crispy. You know, I'm just a crispy egg kind of person. Now listen, don't mess with me because my yolk is runny. I like my yolk runny. If you don't, cook it longer. Also, when you leave, I'm dousing this in hot sauce because that's just how I roll. <laughs> I'm feeling sassy today. I love me a hash. Hash is really great to clean out your fridge, right? At the end of a long week or maybe at the end of a long weekend, clean out your fridge. If you've got leftover roasted vegetables, throw those in a hash and they just transform, right? Phenomenal. You can use store-bought uh, corned beef. You can do whatever your heart desires. I need a little, listen, don't judge me for this, okay? But it's happening. I do one of these and then I just let it all flow. So I like it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I look at this egg. Look at this. Look at that. It's really perfect hash. I know you will love it. Perfect with leftovers. LauraInTheKitchen.com has the recipe for you. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.